And now a bit of a surprise. Mike Bercovici is the first quarterback off the bench tonight. I would be lying if I said it doesn't feel daunting. I think it's just these are real NFL butterflies in my stomach right now. First down, Chargers. In the race to claim an NFL roster spot, there is no such thing as the preseason. These games may not count in the standings, but for undrafted players and their families, the results truly mean everything. Mike Bercovici is angling to be the Chargers' third quarterback, and he needs to be just about perfect on every play. And by far the biggest moment and opportunity he's had in what has been really a solid camp so far for the undrafted rookie. That pass, he has batted up. And that's the problem with Bercovici. He's uh, listed at six foot tall. That's short for a quarterback in the NFL. I know Drew Brees is about the same size, but there's only one Drew Brees. Mike McCoy told us last week in our conversation with him before that game in Tennessee that size not overly important as far as he's concerned with a quarterback. First charge timeout, San Diego. San Diego will be forced to burn a timeout. And this is the challenge, Dan. You can get those reps in practice, but really nothing to simulate a game situation for a kid with such little experience as Berkovici. Sure, you are a rookie and you make rookie mistakes, but the more rookie mistakes you, you do, it's the, the less likely you're going to be there the next day. Berkovici didn't have to go far to catch out of Cardinals game with Carson the last couple of years. Started Arizona State here under pressure, and still is able to complete to James Jones. 22 yards. What a pass by Berkovici right as the contact came for a Chargers first down. Wide receiver lined up, bottom of your screen, first time we've seen him. Berkovici steps up in the pocket, and that one nearly picked. Almost. I really don't think they would put anybody on the field that isn't ready. I want to prove to them that you can count on me going in there and executing. Where does Berkovici go here? Third and eight. Calabasas native. Steps up in the pocket. Has time, slings it, and completes. That was a good ball. That was a good ball. How about that job by Berkovici? Defensive back, totally unblocked ignores it and fires a strike. I want to show this coaching staff, this organization, that I have an understanding of, of this playbook and I can help move the chains because that's, that's all they're looking to see. This may be Berkovici's first preseason, but this is the fourth try for punter Swayze Waters. As the Panthers face the Ravens in Baltimore, Waters is bolstered by support back home in Jackson, Mississippi. The Panthers really don't put a whole bunch. Their offense is so explosive. Well, at least we don't have to watch it on ESPN 3. Yeah. Right. Live stream from Canada. There's a lot of anticipation when there's only a few punts, and um, you know you feel like you're just waiting, waiting, waiting. We're used to him like kicking a lot, and um, so there's probably more nerves for that one kick, you know, because he doesn't get very many opportunities. So he'll be holding the um, second half, but um, he's going to be punting the whole game because Mike's still not feeling too good. So It'll bring along fourth down and 11 in the pan, uh, punting rather situation now for the Carolina Panthers. Uh, uh, All right, here we go. Come on, here we go. Let me get the hang time. Put it inside the 15. Swayze Walters will punt to Walters. Did I say Walters? Walters. Walters. <laughs> Walters. 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 Kick it out of there, Swayze. Get out of the end zone. Out of the end zone. the hang time. Signal for the fair catch. Oh, five, four, five, four. Good hang time. Crush that thing. <laughs> what was he trying to do? He didn't even give him a chance to even touch the ball. Sometimes you got to make those gambles and try to make a team, you know? Welcome back to the Georgia Dome here in the third quarter. From a coach's perspective now, they're looking for guys that stand out. Now the toss is to Brandon Wild, who's tackled for a loss on the play. It's so frustrating sitting on that sideline. Like, you know, I understand the process, but it's so frustrating. Still anticipating, waiting for him to get in. But, uh, you know, just glad to be here. The new Falcons quarterback in the game, Sean Renfrey. 25 yard gain there on the pass. So, Moving right down the field with 9.52 to go here in the third quarter. The clock ticks on, and Mario Cooper remains on the sideline. 
he is at the mercy of the coaching staff, whom he is desperate to impress. But there is little he can do without playing time. As a rookie, he expects to see second half action, but every defensive snap without him is an opportunity lost. And Cooper's frustration grows. You know, everything is a process. You know, you gotta watch your turn. And, you know, when you get the opportunity, you gotta make the most of it. And we're less than 30 seconds in the third here at the Georgia Dome. And that's Brandon Wilds on the ground. Oh, uh, speaking of on the ground, the ball is there as well. It is a fumble recovered by Washington. First down. Mariel comes agonizingly close, but the wait goes on. Marcovici, the first quarterback to get a chance as a backup tonight. In San Diego, playing time is not Mike Bercovici's problem. He must show the Chargers two key qualities, that he can make plays, and perhaps more importantly, avoid mistakes. Before the play comes in your helmet, it's up to you to understand the situation. So it's down distance, where you are on the field, how many timeouts do I have, how much time's on the clock. Then the play is called, and then that all gets magnified once you start seeing people. Defensive line, coverages, corners, safeties. Those are like the basic things that are all going through your head that you all have to process individually. Chargers well on their way to their first preseason victory. This is really the first extensive look that we've had on Barcovici, the undrafted rookie out of Arizona State. And biggest takeaways. They were 8 of 16 on third down conversion attempts tonight. And that's excellent. 50% is just, you know, out of this world. Uh, and you got to give uh, Berkovici a lot of credit for that. One more knee taken by Berkovici, and that will do it. As the Chargers win it, 19 to 3. Nothing that has happened in the last couple months has felt like a collegiate high school pop corner football. It's, it's, it's a different world, it's a different mindset. And I know that it is still preseason, but I, I feel like an NFL football player. Be looking at a third down. So Joe Webb is the third quarterback. Of Joe, the Webb. Joe Webb. That was Wade's quarterback in college. Sure was. UAB. Webb's pass across the middle. Oh, oh no. right in his hands. With the nice play. All right, number six, get in there. So fourth down, Panthers punt. Waters hangs it up high. Wow. Way high. Fair catch, signal four, and taken at wow. the 14th. Oh, oh. Final four hang time. Nice. Nice. So that was a 36-yard punt. A great hang time. That's a good start there for Waters in his battle with the veteran Mike Cyphers. So we'll step aside. <laughs> That's good for Swayze. That's a great punt. Very good. This time it seems a lot different. Swayze's prepared. He knows what he's going for. And, you know, his, his kicking is the best he's, he's ever done. Chug, Chug, you proud of that? Falcons, Redskins at the Georgia Dome. Coming down the stretch here in preseason game number one. Wait for Coop to come out. Just wait. As the coach said to the players before the game, this is the chance not only to knock on the door, but as a rookie, as a player trying to make this roster, you got to knock the door down. He get a pick six, we win the game, and we go home and celebrate. In the game's dying minutes, Mariel finally hears his number call. But the Atlanta offense works the other side of the field, depriving Cooper of critical moments to make an impression. When you're getting down to your final roster, the special teams is the deciding factor. And a lot of times, that's the difference between a guy making the team and not making the team. And Rose is long enough. Not good, though. Running into the kicker, number 32 of the receiving team. Cooper, I think. 
Just a little bit of over-aggressiveness, over-pursuit. The coaches are going to tell him, hey, we like you flying around, but you got to be under control. And that's exactly what this evening's all about for kids like him. And from 39, and that'll be it. You know, I feel like I was too scared to mess up.